And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again, and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. Mr. House's Securitron army took control of Hoover Dam and the Strip, pushing both the Legion and the exhausted NCR out of New Vegas. Mr. House continued to run New Vegas his way, a despotic vision of pre-war glory. The streets were orderly, efficient, cold. New Vegas continued to be the sole place in the wasteland where fortunes were won and lost in the blink of an eye. The courier, who had a mixed history in the wasteland, kept the status quo at Hoover Dam. Mr. House would keep New Vegas stable, if not free, for generations. Mr. House afforded the courier every luxury at his disposal in the Lucky 38. With no one to stop them, the Omertas executed their violent coup on the Strip. Barraging the street with tear gas and gunning down NCR MPs left and right. Ultimately, though, without a Legion victory at Hoover Dam, the assault was largely ineffectual, and the Omertas were wiped out by Securitron forces. Without any new talent, the Tops lost its luster, becoming just another rundown casino on the Strip. The spirit of the old world faded, replaced by the harsh reality of the new. Years after the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, the White Glove's dark secret was eventually exposed in a scandal that rocked the Strip. The details remain vague, but the Ultra Lux's reputation was forever tarnished. The facade crumbled, revealing the gruesome truth beneath. Black Mountain Radio continued to broadcast its peculiar form of propaganda. Raul Tejada faced his execution each day, though pardoned in the end. Hail the People's Republic.